Hey, welcome back to some more Minecraft. This is Dallas here, back on the Let's Play world. Looky here, an abandoned ship. What kind of treasures did they leave me? Uh. Ooh, some armor trims. Ooh. <gasps> more armor trims, wow. This ship sideways had three chests. That's surprising. Hey, Bob. <laughs> Be careful, Bob. Be so careful. Be very careful. I said be careful. What do you have? Eh, could have done better. But I've been out roaming the seas for a very long time, and I got all of this. So I mainly came out here to get ink sacks. And I got ink sacks for sure, but look at all this. We got five sniffer eggs. I've got 24 of just the mourner. 16 blades. I've been going through some crazy amount of ocean ruins, and I am not complaining. Today's episode, we're just going to be doing anything and everything. You know what? I have not been looting these with shaders on, but I kind of want to try it. Oh, you can see so clearly. I've been using tons of night vision. I could have just been doing this. Is that one? No. Now, is it just me? Or is there lava in those cauldrons? You see that, right? I can tell by the way it's lighting up and slowly going away. Oh yeah, it just changed. You see that? Oh, that's water. It's water. <laughs> As you can see, I have been working on this back wall. It is no easy process. This is, I, I don't even think I have enough. All those ink sacks you saw, that's not even all of this. What I'm trying to say is this is a lot of material. Let's build a robotic creeper. I think I'm just gonna put him in the center of the room here. I designed one in my test world I really like, so I'm just gonna try to bring it to life in here. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Uh-oh. Maybe it's too big. I don't know. <laughs> but perhaps, oh no, I have lights right there. We'll make do with what we got. If I have to raise the ceiling there and get rid of slabs, I'll do it. But I like the design of it, and it has to be this size to be proportionate because there's no other way to make a creeper face at a smaller scale than a three by three block head. So these are the feet right here. There we go. That is the face, as you can see, eye holes, and then the creeper mouth. I kind of like it. I'm just gonna put some redstone comparators on the front and flip them on just to make it look like there's some gadgets up top. In the center here, I think I wanna use some cauldrons. Put some buttons down. In the front, gonna put that there. We're gonna put some iron bars. This side, I'm gonna put some pipes. Back side, I'm gonna do something like that. Put a lever here, run down some pipes like so. More iron bars. And you know what? I kind of like it. It's done. I tried many different ways to add a light source on the inside of its head and maybe make the eyes light up, but with just this small amount of space you have to work with, I, I like having the natural creeper face built into it. But I think this looks pretty cool. Maybe it's a, a weapon we could use in battles. It could be just a giant bomb that walks up <laughs> and blows up. We have all this space to work with in here. Look at this. But this is not going to be an easy process. I believe on this side, I want a giant door to be open, almost like a gate, and have a little bit of a pad hanging out because I want to design this city around elytra wings as well. Remember, this is a Minecraft city. I'm not making a city with cars or anything like that. This is a city built for Minecraft. So I kind of want to do my same thing where I can have a giant door to swing in with elytra wings and have almost like a giant hangar room. I like the idea of coming into a huge hangar for some reason. So I might try that because there's so much space in here. Even below this floor, I could have so many different opportunities to build something. There we go. That can be the entrance. I like it. It almost has the same vibe as my bunker entrance. 
I kind of like that for some reason. I'm gonna add obviously a bit of support here and extend this out a little bit. And I might put Q here. A lot of you said I should put Q for headquarters. I didn't even think of that. It'll probably make it look better. Okay, I'm still working in here. Um, as you can see, I decided to make the ceiling really tall and I want it to look busy. I love the idea of entering a building like this and looking up and just seeing very industrial ceilings. So I kind of have like pipes. I mean, that's just my idea so far, but I'm coming across a lot of creative issues. I don't know where I want to take this. Perhaps I could continue it all the way around that side. But when I have big open spaces like this, it's really hard to pinpoint the idea I have. So I'm gonna have to take my time on this. That's all I got so far. <laughs> I'm going to go work on something else. See if I can do this by memory. I'm getting pretty good at remembering how to do the letters. Sometimes I can fail pretty miserably. I already messed up. I can recover from this. I was making a, a B. Uh, I really messed up. Oh no, okay, yeah. I can recover. I can recover. Here is an A, and I need an A. There we go. There's the B. Okay, what's next? The letter N. This one's really easy. I'll do it instantly. Look at this. Boom, 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 and boom. If you couldn't tell, I'm spelling the word bank because, quite simply, I am finishing up my bank build that I was building. There we go. Now I just need to copy these. Although I don't trust banners like I really want to in this game, because if we take a step out here, ah, it's nighttime. But if we take a step out here, if you remember, our kelp company, it's just randomly turned the L into a full solid one. Why? Like what would cause that? On the other side where that logo is, there, it, the L is fine. But only on this side. You can kind of see. It's just so strange, I don't know. Gotta fix that. But anyway, I have been working on my bank, specifically the insides. But as you can see, on the outside here, I am making a bank logo. Just quite simply, a, ah, I messed up. It is a vertical one, just like that. I forgot to light up the insides. Oh gosh. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. That's simple, straight to the point, bank. But yeah, so I put up some tinted glass on the inside here. As you can see, I made it charred on the outside a bit because I wanted to make it look like whoever robbed this bank torched the whole thing. So I'm gonna pretend these are off, well, they are offices above there, um, but I'm not gonna do much up there. Still gonna find a way to get up there. But this is the lobby right here. The teller would be behind here, but as you can see, we have a breach in the wall. Ooh, what's that? A little leftover gold? <laughs> um, so yeah, I really like the way this looks. Don't look at that. It's ugly. So I gotta work on that. But this leads down into the vault, which I made sure to add a little gold trail. And here's the vault. <laughs> I didn't want to make it huge. I really wanted to make it look like, you know, those little boxes you can put valuables in. But I also made a few crates. Maybe these were all holding gold. As you can see, some spilt over the sides, but all the gold in the insides are taken. Maybe one emerald was left behind. But I really like the way this looks. This is exactly what I was going for. I think it looks like a bank robbing scenario. I could put some like TNT, leftover TNT out here. But uh, yeah, other than that, I really like the way it looks. This is gonna be an unusable building. It's mainly just filler space, but it looks really cool, in my opinion. I just spent an hour in my test world creating a billboard. A billboard. Now mind you, billboards in Minecraft about the size maybe eight blocks by four or five blocks, it is really hard to come up with a cool looking design. You can't even really put letters on it. But I came up with something I thought was pretty cool. Now this is only one billboard, so I'm gonna have to come up with more crazy designs, but it uses glazed terracotta, the block I always hated most in this game. But if you notice, they have all kinds of crazy designs and you can place these designs in any direction you want. You guys probably know this, but which, however you place it, it'll be placed different every time. And I love that. And you can get really creative, which I think I did. So I wanna show you what I kind of built. All right, I'm facing a pretty hard challenge on deciding where to put this because the backside 
won't transfer the same image. And I'm looking at these trap doors. I'm thinking about, go it might be nuts, but it might go through and replace all these birch trap doors with the vertical iron trap doors, which means I'll have to push it with a piston for every single one, but it just looks like too much yellow. Anyway, I'm getting off track though. I'm imagining it on top of a building right here because I like the idea of looking down this direction and seeing billboards, but I could always move it. That's for sure. So another area I'm thinking, this is a very brightly colored one, so I don't want it on any of these buildings. I'm thinking on top of this right here, just over this edge, so it's more displaying to the people out here. Ugh, this is hard. I don't have enough buildings yet to start doing these billboards. That's why I haven't really made them yet. Okay, I think I'm gonna, whoops. I think I'm gonna put it here for now. This is a all right spot. It's really, it's just a small billboard too, so if I don't like it, I can just eventually move it. And as I'm about to build this, I look down here. I really didn't even finish that one yet. Oh gosh. Be smart about this and not waste a lot of scaffolding. Uh. Okay, so this billboard is not going to say anything. Um, whoops. Whoops. I'm just going to have an image. It's going to use all glazed terracotta. I'm going to do my best to lay it out. All right, and there it is, just a quick glimpse of a mess, but what I really love about this, if we take a step back to where we'll be seeing it the most, which is on the streets, it looks like, <laughs> oh my God, I love it. It just looks like a picture of a house with a sun on the top left, like a sunset. Oh, I love it so much. I got those trap doors in the way a bit, a little bit. Oh yeah, I can see a better view right here. But yeah, just some nice green grass with a house. Got a little bit of yellow there for the sunset. And of course the actual sun right there. Oh, I love it. It makes me want to play with these even more. I used to hate these blocks with a passion. But if you just mess around with it a little bit, I'm probably going to use these for a lot of billboards around here. I might even keep that one there. It doesn't look too bad. What's the other side look like? Oh. Not too bad, actually. Yeah, I can get away with that. The only thing it's missing on this side is the sun, because the sun has to be placed in a way, which I really like, because it actually looks like a sun. But yeah, if you want to do this yourself, that's the block layout. Added in some dead bushes in the front here, almost as if they don't water them anymore because they're not here anymore. <laughs> There's a skeleton down here. No? Okay, we're good. Also put some of these down here, because why not? Gotta have some treasure pots. Now, I want to change one little thing real quick on our billboard. So if you notice, this is supposed to represent grass. This is lime green and this is normal green. But if we get rid of this normal green, put a lime green there. Let's put a lime green here as well. But on these two spots, we're going to put some normal green and take a step back. Now it looks like the house is casting a shadow from the sun, just an extra added detail. I don't mean to toot my own horn, but this is just an awesome little piece. Now, another thing, I'm gonna head up to the top here. Just gonna get rid of that, place a slab. Same thing right here. I only have two end rods left to my name. This is, I need to, this is bad, because this city needs a lot of end rods. So that'll hopefully light it up. I wanna see what it looks like with ray tracing at night. Oh, I love seeing the reflections. See that detail right there, the orange and brownish bit? Actually, since it's a little less resolution, it almost looks real. Even that skyscraper right there. As well, I'm gonna try not to build anything right here because I love the idea of the sunset casting this lights down the middle. Gosh, that building looks amazing at night. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see what it looks like. Oh, huh. thought it was gonna be a little brighter with and rods, maybe I can put some end rods on the bottom. Ooh, look at the way it's shimmering, you see that? Yeah, I could probably find a way to light it up more. All right, that's enough billboard stuff. Man, I just need to start playing in RTX more. My city just seems like a proper scary city at nighttime. Look at this, oh my God. This is why I'm working on this place so much, guys. I'm just obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with the idea of having a full-on city here pretty soon. And the more we work on it, the more that dream's gonna become a reality. Here's a map, by the way. I haven't really showed this yet because it honestly doesn't even look that impressive. Hopefully it will soon. 
Oh, looky there. We got a new building under construction. I'm really liking the way this one's turning out. I'm using a few different blocks other than the smooth stone. Well, not really, I guess. Ah, I keep hearing things. So as you can tell, this one's gonna be another hotel-style building, but I think I want this one to be <laughs> abandoned as well. Remember, this is dystopian, so it's gonna be taken over by a lot of, like, people that are not of the government, but rather, like, rebels. So I might droop some moss off of this. I'm gonna tear it up some. On the inside, I'm gonna make a lobby, but make it look a little run down and just make it look like this is almost like a gang hideout or something. I didn't give it a whole lot of space other than here to, you know, add graffiti, but I could find a way. I'm probably gonna change that billboard and put it over here on top of this one. Have some more billboards on the side. Completely forgot to do the back for some reason. I built this whole thing up and realized I didn't even do the back. It's kind of strange. I need a lot more glass to finish this, and I absolutely love the way these trapdoors look around these smooth stone blocks. But as you can see, I don't think that's going to happen because Minecraft, if you're listening to me, most likely not, change the recipe for iron trapdoors. You see the amount I have right here? That was a whole stack of iron. It's ridiculous. <laughs> There's so many recipes in this game that really need to be changed. Remember the last time I was in my vault, the amount of iron I had piled up in there? It's almost all gone, just for this city. And where's all the iron, you may ask? It's mainly in like cauldrons and hoppers in like those areas. There's a little bit over there. All the trap doors that you can't even see. <laughs> I'm wanting to head over here and put a queue right here because I think it would look better. While I do this, I'll go ahead and answer today's common question of the day. And it is from Goatface101. Dallas, have you ever thought of using shorts to reach a larger audience? I actually have. Almost around when shorts came out, like, what was it, a year or two ago? Probably longer than that. But I still can't re Why does that look like- It is lava. I think, no, I think the textures are just messed up on RTX. That's why it looks like lava. Okay, I'm not losing my mind. <laughs> but I have to say something. I- You don't see me- on TikTok and all this other fancy new form of media is because I can't stand it. I I know there's a lot that agree with me and a lot that love it, but my opinion stands that I, I just hate TikTok. I hate the style of it. It's an ADHD style of videos and it's I just wish it wasn't a thing, but it is. And now every single social media platform can't be original. They're like, oh, that's exceeding, so we're gonna steal that exact design. Now there's reels and TikToks on every single social media platform. No one can be original anymore. It's just like, oh, that's making money. Now we're gonna do it. Even, I just discovered this recently, but I didn't even notice, yeah, it looks better. I didn't even notice Twitter is now doing reels like that. I, I found it on accident. I just clicked on the video and accidentally scrolled, and then boom, there's TikTok's idea of scrolling to a next vertical video. <laughs> And I understand, I may not like it, but I should probably get invested with it if I want it to grow because it will inevitably grow a channel because you reach larger audiences because guaranteed shorts is taking over YouTube. I, people always get on, oh, this looks cool. People always get on YouTube now and just go straight to the shorts tab. Gone are the days of going to your subscription feed. That's why all these, everyone's channel is freaking dying. <laughs> Like, I even have a habit of that. Every time I get on YouTube now, I just scroll through my recommended. I don't go to the shorts page as much, but I do go to recommended page more than my subscription feed. And they designed it in a way so you do that. Bob, why are you running from me? Come here, Jesus. Uh -huh. And it's just killing YouTube. YouTube is just loaded with ads now, and it's just... Everything's going downhill. Every social media, I'm going way off topic. I'm going into a rant, but every social media platform is just squeezing in as many ads as they can. And when they notice they do a little bit too much, they take it away. For example, YouTube recently tried to add a thing where, you know, you now get two ads, but they tried to add a thing where if you skip the first ad, it'll just take you to the second ad, you know? If you guys experience that, you know what I'm talking about. Normally, which it is, I think back to normal now, if you just skip the first ad, it'll skip the, all the ads all together. You can go straight to the YouTube video. What I'm trying to get at is, is I, I don't like the new reels on YouTube. And I really don't want to get involved with them, but I'm starting to think maybe it would be an all right idea. I don't know what I'd put though. 
I don't want to make dedicated reels, I'd rather take moments from my episodes, so I might try that. But yeah, that's my whole idea on reels and all that. Oh, and they're actually called shorts on YouTube. You see what I mean? Like, I'm getting them all confused because every social media platform does that style of video now. What are reels on? Instagram, I think? Most likely. Um, but I just want to thank these two donors for today. Jacob Mail Hyatt. Mail Hyatt. Thanks, Jacob, for that kind donation. I appreciate that. And Jan Cape. Cap. It had the little squiggly above the E, so that does that mean you pronounce it like Cape? Capai. With a kind donation as well. Thank you both. I appreciate that. And I appreciate you for watching what's in here. Junk. This chest does not need to be here anymore. Perhaps it's time I come back home and work on something over here for next episode. I'll try my absolute best to do that, but it's going to be really hard because 97% of my focus is on that town right now. I'll try to find the 3% that's lingering around here. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.